Hello, welcome to Cool Discussions. It's Thursday, hockey day at Cool Discussions. Why are we talking it's hockey? It's hockey day for you. Though. Well, it's every day's hockey day. Why are we talking about hockey? There's, there's lots of stuff going on in the world. Uh, well, but uh, you know what? My focus, I when we were uh, pre-production meetings this week, we... Uh, we uh, uh we asked you. Uh, he asked me, "What are we talking about?" I said, "I don't know what's going on in the world," because <laughs> I've been too busy focusing on the Oilers. Uh, for that matter, even even here in Calgary, uh, there was a big hoopla because the Calgary Flames managed to tie their franchise record of a, a ten game streak, and uh, they're riding hot goalie. They, the, 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 hey, it requires a little bit of scoring goals to. To, to hey, they were too. playing great. They were playing well. They were playing some good hockey. Um, and, uh, you know, so they ended up catching up to the Edmonton Oilers and yeah, passing them in did. the division. Uh, so right now, as of, uh, well, as of recording of this video, they are, they are in third place in the division. Edmonton's in fourth. Um, we're both in playoff spots. I think we're both going to make the playoffs. Um, it, that, it's it's going to be a race to see where we finish right down to the end of the season. Uh, so, you know, has hockey fever caught on in Calgary? Yeah. But hockey fever's always been with me. For the first time... In 10 years, the Edmonton Oilers are playing meaningful hockey. Mm-hmm. And it's all in thanks March. to Connor McDavid? Yes. Yes. There we go. Yes. Yes, it is. So, yeah, it's... Uh, That's all I've been focused on. I don't even know what's going on. I know there's, you know, there's... <laughs> yeah, it was so funny. It's like, uh, it's like, okay, I figured out one thing, and he's like, well, I've been... Watching Oilers, what I don't, the hell's I don't going know, on in the world? I'm like, uh, in the scoreboard <laughs> watching, I don't even know what's happening. I Normally I'm like, well, what's going on, uh, you know, watching other stuff. But right now it's hockey, 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 hockey. Yeah, um, the Oilers, is, it's been a while for the Oilers, honestly. Um, it's hard being an Oilers fan in Calgary. For that matter, <laughs> even just last year was hard be, uh, being a Canadian team fan. Only one Canadian team made it. I think this no year... No Canadian teams made it last oh, year. Oh, yeah, that's right. No Canadian teams this made it This year there's five. A possibility of five. Yeah, so it's... Uh, there's only two that are going to miss it for sure, and that's Winnipeg and Vancouver. Sucks yeah, to be you guys. Uh, Winnipeg is understandable. They're, what, third or fourth year now since they came back? Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, they they've, haven't been in the league that long. It takes a, a few years to build a team. They're so. bad. They're not going to... They're in trouble in Winnipeg, that's for sure. Are they? Oh yes. Oh, that's a shame. Yes, they're 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 in trouble. They they've got a good young star in Patrick Line. He's a pure goal scorer. He's gonna he's gonna do some good stuff. But in the league, um, but uh, you know, it's all about hockey, 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 hockey. That's all I'm thinking about. It's weird. It's so weird. I'm um, looking at standings. I'm looking at points. Connor McDavid's fighting for the points. Uh, how is he doing? Yeah, okay, but, he's yeah. fighting for the points lead. Yeah, I think he might be leading. I'm not 100 percent sure. Who's he fighting with? A uh, whole bunch of guys. Marshawn from Boston, Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, Patrick Kane. It's a huge oh, race. Okay. So it, it's not a. It's not like a. No, there isn't like no a two horse race. No, okay. no it, it's very low scoring. There's only like 79 points. 80 points is the leader right now. Oh and, really? Uh, so that is kind of low. You know, it is very low. It's oh, a very very low. Um, so I'm excited to hopefully see some, you know, cross my fingers. We could fall apart. We could implode and lose no, every that's game. That's true. That's the thing. Uh, it's that point of time in the playoffs where this is where uh, the the points matter. Um, at this point in the season, it, the the top teams have lost their spots. They're uh, pretty much yeah, trying to make sure they don't injure people going into the playoffs. And this is a, a race to the finish for everybody else. Yeah, there's only and twelve as of this. There's only twelve games are left. I think thirteen games, twelve, twelve. So games. Okay. the Oilers have twelve. There games are left. sixteen spots. Yes, playoff spots, right? Yes. Okay, so only what five or six of them are locked. There's none locked. Nobody's clinched a playoff spot, but you can pretty much... San Jose is going to make it for sure from the Pacific Division. Uh, Minnesota, Chicago, Washington, Pittsburgh, Montreal, Ottawa. There's there's a bunch, but there's still... Most of the playoff spots that you... Um, the West playoff race is, is almost... The teams that are in spots right now are going to make it. It's just seeding. And the East, there's still a couple teams like Toronto could fall out. Um, Tampa Bay and New York could come in. They're mm-hmm. still fighting for... Um, right now, the gap between the last playoff spot and the next team is eight points. And it could be ten after it's Saturday. 
So 10 after tonight if you there's a win. Um, but there's only one point separating the three teams in the Pacific Division. Yeah, and San Jose is 10 points ahead. They're, they're and, 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 and when you have like a, the Flames go on a, a 10 game winning streak, that they did that. They, that they that just, is a game changer. Well, in it just solidified there. Yeah, at this time of year because it's like you know you go on a 10 game winning streak, somebody <laughs> loses. They even went up against Montreal, who was on a. They played their back goalie. Hold on. They played Montreal's backup goalie. They didn't play the best goalie in the world, Carey Price. Montreal was on a seven-game winning streak. Uh, that game Calgary been was on a eight-game Cal- winning streak at that time. Calgary would have lost that game. And, and, but that's the point. Uh, Montreal played didn't play their second-string goalie because they didn't want to put no, they, too much. Carey Price was sick. Oh, was he sick? Yeah, they would have played uh, Carey Price, but he was sick. So Ed, the Oilers got Carey Price on a Sunday because he was fine, and the Oilers... Lost. <laughs> you know. Um, so, uh, I've always found that um, great teams have great goalies. Good teams. You're not a hockey fan. No. Right? So, the buzz in the city of Calgary. We live in Calgary. I'm an Oilers fan. Calgary is very tough. Um, did it get you looking at the hockey? Uh, I was paying attention, actually. Um, simply because on the front page of the paper every day. Flames win. Eight, seven, nine, nine ten. ten. Let's go for 11. And then, and then it's get, like, it, it was brewing. Yeah. I, I, and then well, right after that, what's on the front page of the news? Not hockey. <laughs> Not so, hockey. Uh, but it, it's it's one of those things of, you know, people perked up here in Calgary. All the Flames fans were, the Oiler fan at my work didn't show up for the past week. <laughs> <laughs> That's how embarrassed he no, was. I, to you show know what? Up. I wasn't. I wasn't embarrassed. I wasn't. I mean, me personally, I wasn't embarrassed because you know. I'm, no, I'm, he was I'm, on vacation. That was an acute one. <laughs> the Flames have been very this all season. Yes, the Oilers have. have been very consistent. Yep. Um. So when the Flames were on this big streak, um, I, there's a guy I work with who's a Flames fan and. Typical Flames fan fashion. He was very. Oh, he was on the bandwagon. He said to me one day. After they beat Pittsburgh, the Flames, he said, "Oh, Johnny Gaudreau should be in the conversation with the boys." And I'm like, the, referring to the boys of Connor McDavid, Sidney Crosby status. Oh, okay. And I kind of went, "Are you serious?" Because there's a debate right now: who's the best player in the world? And, and it's I've between heard about two this people. Debate. debate. Mm-hmm. Connor McDavid. And Sidney Crosby. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to preface this. Yes, I'm a big Oilers fan. I am an, I bleed Oilers, okay? I've followed this team since I was... I can't even remember. Knee high. Okay, I've, I've been... This tall. An Oilers fan my whole life, okay? But my other team, the team that I cheer for because the Oilers have been inept and haven't been able to make the playoffs, so come playoff time and throughout the season, I cheer for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And I can go in my closet right now, along with these Oilers jerseys, are three Pittsburgh Penguins jerseys. Two Sidney Crosby and a Mary Lemieux jersey. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, when Crosby came into the league, I, uh, I'm a big Crosby fan. Oh, yeah. I love Crosby. Oh, yeah. I think he is, a gr- he is the best player in the world. Or, sorry, was the best player in the world. Uh, because simply, Connor McDavid is a better then Sidney Crosby, f- okay, At- hold on, hold on, because I know what you're going to say. You're going to be like, well, Crosby has Stanley Cups, Crosby has this, right? That's going to be your argument, right? Oh, I, actually, my argument is more like Crosby is the better player right now because he has uh, experience. Exactly. If you want to look at a career, yes, yes. Crosby has a better career, but yeah. McDavid's only in his second year. Is it only second year? Only okay. he... Year and a half because okay. he missed half of last year with the broken collarbone. Yeah, right. Yeah. So this is this is this is my when you compare them at the same age at twenty years old their their path is exactly the same. They were both named captain of their team in their second year. They both won. Well, okay, sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Crosby won the scoring title in his second year. Connor McDavid is on on track pace to hopefully win to the scoring yeah. title and the league MVP. Um, so when you look at them at their at the same juncture in their career. Yep. 
And, and that that's all you can do is because other than that, if you're comparing it, you can't compare a, careers. Com- you can't you compare can, com- when you look career, at yeah, careers. Yeah. The best player in the world is Wayne Gretzky, and you you'll never until you break his records, you'll never. There is and no. I agree with it. I totally agree. I am. I grew up with Gretzky on the Oilers. I don't like, remember Gretzky. I was too young because Gretzky was eighty eight. He left the Oilers. Yeah, I, like, I, I remember. I taller. remember the Euler dynasty. This is where your love of the Oilers oh, yeah. comes from. Well, we grew up in Edmonton yep. watching the Oilers dominate. This was like the the beginning of like a hockey love affair with Canada. There like, is no wrong answer to the debate of who's the best player in the world, Crosby or McDavid. There is, th- that is a two-horse race. When you... And this is what bothers me about Calgary fans. And it's not... Like, <laughs> they sit there and they try to put Johnny Hockey in this conversation with these two players. And if you're a Calgary Flames fan, stop. There is no player on your team who comes close to these two players. None. None whatsoever. Okay? Um, and this debate will go... And to me, um, there's been a lot of hockey people that I listen to, that I follow... And like I said, there is no wrong. Whichever side you fall on is Ooh. right. Both these players are great. But I think right now, when you look at Connor McDavid and you look at how good he is now, he's only going to get better. He's only going to get better. And I've said it before on this show that the Edmonton Oilers are going to win a Stanley Cup before the Calgary Flames. I, I think you said the Edmonton Oilers are going to be the first Canadian team to yeah, I'll win that. Uh, I think I think uh, that's Stanley Cup to basically end the Canadian I, drought I think that's if, been happening. If we make the playoffs this year, this will give us experience. We're not going to win the cup this year. I'm not delusional, but watch out next year. And, and listen to what he's saying. He's not. He's saying if we make the playoffs, and I'm not delusional, we're not going to win the cup. And you know what? They could surprise you. Honestly, there if are we, if we, way there have been the way worse things that have happened in the playoffs about underdog teams making it, making it, and making it. If we get into the playoffs, if we get into the playoffs, we have two things that could win us a championship out of just complete fluke. We have a great goaltender in Cam Talbot, and we have Connor McDavid. Mm-hmm. Okay, those two factors alone. Could win us the Stanley Cup. Now, does Connor McDavid actually have a couple of backups? Like I know that um, we have, okay when uh, when Gretzky was scoring all of his goals. Oh yeah, Mark Messier, Yori Curry, uh, Paul Coffey, um, a whole bunch of people. The list he, goes on and on. We had that people game. helping him. We we do. We have the makings of it. The Oilers do, but they're they're not a complete team right now. Um, we we still need we're still missing one or two pieces, but compared to we finished second last last year, mm-hmm. and now when you look at the the um, the gains that they've made, obviously again I'm, yes I'm biased I know that I'm a diehard Oilers fan yes, but I'm also a hockey fan I watch in October November if there's a Montreal Washington game on the television on the weekend I turn it on. And then my wife yells at me and says, why are we watching this? And I go, it's hockey, who cares? I'm a hockey fan, yes. I am a hockey fan. I watch international hockey. I, wa- I watch Sweden-Belarus because I'm a hockey fan. Okay? Uh, I, I got to admit, like, when I had cable and I knew that international hockey was on, I would actually have it on my, you know, the channels could switch back and forth. I would have it on my back. Because the commercial comes on, I go to the hockey game, just just see what's going on. Because international hockey is actually really interesting to watch, because uh, they don't have that sense of fighting into it. Whereas North well, that's American, why I love that's why I love international hockey, and that's what I don't like about the the NHL is that it, there's still the element like the international game focuses more on the skill aspect and the yeah. actual game of hockey, whereas the NHL still has that brute brutality, which we love as North Americans because we're a bunch of savages. Um, you know, but it's exciting. It's an exciting time to be a hockey fan in Canada. With, oh, yes. With five oh. teams potentially in the playoffs. And five teams being in five different series right yeah. now. Yeah. Of the um, eight. So it, it's it's really nice in the sense that you, you won't necessarily see too many Canadian teams playing uh, each other. Go you could have a battle for the first round. It could happen in the second round. which It still could happen in the first round. Yeah. Uh, 
it is it is an interesting time for hockey. Even though those casual fans are starting to hop on the the bandwagon, oh, the bandwagon, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, you you get a whole bunch of bandwagon hoppers and stuff like that, and it just bothers me when fans sit there and be like, "I'll openly admit when I'm having a, a, a like a debate that I come from a bias of the Edmonton Oilers." Um, but when other people who I know are f- fans of other teams try to be like, I can come at this as an unbiased, from an unbiased hockey fan view, it's like, no, you can't. You're you're a fan of a certain team. If you like a team and, you, and you're having a hockey debate, if you're a, uh, a Montreal Canadiens fan and you're debating Crosby or McDavid, better player, you have skin in the game because you're a Montreal Canadiens fan. You know what I mean? So you can't be like, oh, I'm not biased. You know what I mean? You come from a... The only person who would really be unbiased is this guy, because he doesn't like hockey. <laughs> he could be like, I have no idea. I'm going to pick Crosby. And I'd be like, see, you're unbiased. And you, don't, <laughs> you, know, you don't know what you're talking about, you know? Very true. Um, Very true. Yeah, but it's fun. I'm going to enjoy no, no, it. I'm gonna... this th- last year was very boring in playoff hockey. No Canadian teams to watch, no Canadian teams to cheer for. Was and I, 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 I have to admit, it almost felt like nobody was watching playoff hockey last year. Like, it, it felt like. Yeah. It. No, it um, definitely did. The, it definitely did. The year did. before, um, it didn't matter that no uh, your Canadian team didn't make it. There was a Canadian team, and all of Canada rallied behind. You know, if five teams make it, nope. You're gonna have a division, but as soon as there's only one, it's there's a lot of rally. The only way that I rally behind it is if it's the Oilers. I will never cheer for another Canadian team who wins the Cup. I don't. I know you. This, this general, is, general rule. Okay, he's the exception. Good. And I think that that if you're a if you're a Flames fan and you get behind the Oilers to win the Cup because they're the only can go get. <laughs> and if you're an Oilers fan, you cheer for the Flames to win the get. Seriously, yeah, you're out. You're out. You lost your lifetime yes. membership. Give me, give me your your card back. Your your fan card back, and I'm out. You're out. You're done. You've heard it here. You are done. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling we'll be talking about the playoffs in a couple months once it's uh, a little bit farther. When deep. we when we there's two weeks left in the season. Twelve games. It's mm-hmm. coming down to the wire. The April April ninth is the last game day of the season. So uh, you know, right now we're both Calgary and Edmonton are in a playoff spot. Montreal and Ottawa are solid in a playoff spot, so they're almost a lock to make a playoffs. Toronto is on, on the, the fringe. Edge. Yeah. They're on the edge. Good for them. You know yeah. what I mean? I, um, they're personally, I think Toronto needs to. Oh, yeah. uh, the, those fans need. They need a bone. <laughs> they really do. Don't even talk about them needing a bone. They've been <laughs> in the playoffs in the last ten years. They we, have? Yes. Oh, okay. We're the only, we're the longest team drought in the NHL right oh, now. Really? The Holy it's crap. it's sad. Okay. Um, I haven't put this jersey on in. Forever, yeah. Because you know, I'll wear the ball cap all the time, mm-hmm. but to put the jersey on is. It, I'm worried that I'm gonna put a jinx on my team now. Ha! No, you'll be fine. A lot of Oilers fans are like that, though. Like, no, it's no, very, no, it, like, it's a superstition. Yes, I totally understand. No, it's just we've been beaten so badly and we suck so badly. We're like we're gonna fall apart. Holy shit! We go on a two game losing streak. We're like, no. the wheels are coming off. The wheels are coming off. Uh, so, guys, let us know who you think. I want to throw it out there to the interwebs. The great debate. Who you guys think is the best player in the world? Um, you, if it's not Connor McDavid or Sidney Crosby, tell us who it is. Um, even if, tell us if you think Crosby and McDavid. Um, my wife's brother is a diehard Flames fan. Sent him the question. She said, who, who, who's the best player in the world? And he said McDavid. Ooh. So that has to say something. Mm. So It does, actually. So, thanks for tuning in and listening. Uh, Go Oilers. <laughs> if we get in, man, watch out. Oh, yeah. The, it's it's going to be... You uh, don't want to uh, play these guys the first round. No. no you don't. Not the first round. Not even the second round. Not even the third round. Not even the finals. You don't want to play the Oilers at all. All right, guys. Don't forget to leave a like. Hey, who do you think is going to win the Stanley Cup? I think Washington is going to win the Stanley Cup. Uh, I actually, uh, a Flames fan at work, he said, yeah, he sees Washington. I think it's going to be Washington, Washington, San Jose. I think San Jose is going to get back there and lose again. Yeah, they have a real horrible... They lost last year in the Cup they, Finals. They, they have a horrible time when it comes to the Finals. Oh, my gosh. They lost the picture last year, but I think it's going to be Washington, San Jose right now. Uh, I'll, I'll update my guess when the playoff brackets are out there, yeah. but don't forget to leave a like. A comment. Subscribe. 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 All right, guys. See ya.